right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Baptism Sunday service. We are so glad that you guys could join us. Uh, baptisms are one of the most beautiful things that we do as a church because it is a public declaration of a private decision that was made, a personal decision that was made to give their life to Christ and to celebrate with the entire church family. And so with me this morning, I have my brother Daniel, and Daniel is going to share a little bit of his story as to why he wants to get baptized today. So go ahead, take it away, Daniel. Absolutely. So today I make my declaration to follow Christ and dedicate my life to follow his word uh, immediately, stay steadfast and grow in my faith uh, as well as learning it in the word of Jesus so I can share it. I want to lead and set the example for my family. It's good. It's good. So when I, when I was young, uh, I buried a lot of storms. My parents separated, my mom got sick, and she passed away. I got very, very angry, toxic, uh, and just turned my shoulder to God at that point. I spent about 20 years doing that, thinking I could do everything on my own. And about two years ago, that all changed. Two years ago, I came to the end of myself. Uh, I let, yeah, I let myself become overweight. I was unhappy with uh, myself, living unhappy with the man I was being for my family. I was struggling because I was leaving a career behind that I thought was my identity. And uh, yeah, I just was very alone. I thought I was alone. But on January 8th, 2022, I made a decision to make a physical and physical change and mental change and thought everyone was going to be there cheering for me saying, yeah, let's do this. Like, I, I think that's a great thing. And I'm not saying no one was there for me, but there were a lot of people who had doubts rightfully because I've been setting a standard for so long uh, that they had rightful doubts that I wasn't going to change. But two years later, 200 pounds later. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and a personal decision of my own, nine months sober. Um, uh, that's good. Uh, but yeah, I thought I was alone at that point, but there was this voice there. Yeah, and the only thing I could give it to was God because Amen. he said, go, show them. And then they'll believe. Mm -hmm. That's good. So. And uh, the last thing I really want to say is, though I have more to come, and I've already had a lot of things happen, but mm. so funny how, you know, my first part of my story, I was drifting away, and the first time I ever came to Impact, the message was talking about postures of faith. Pastor Cameron was talking about it, and the first, one of his first things he touched on was drifting away and how we wow. shouldn't. And what a way to show how good God is and yeah. that message being for me. Amen. Wow. wow, what a story. Uh, I just want to share uh, your home. This is your home. Yeah. You, you are home with the family of God. You belong here. You are a child of God. You are so loved. And this is such an amazing moment. I'm giddy with excitement that I get to be in the tank with you. Uh, just to see the, you know, you obviously you've had a physical transformation and there's a spiritual transformation that is ongoing. And this is a huge leap forward towards that. And so I just want to ask you two quick questions. One, Daniel, is it your desire to live for God and for God alone from this point forward? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Amen. 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 And do you, Daniel, do you renounce the works of the enemy and all his work in your life? Yes, absolutely. Amen. Well, anyway, maybe we'll take the glasses off. <laughs> well then, Daniel, it is my privilege as your pastor, as your friend and your brother in Christ, to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.